uh, while we focus on the potential that the Indian economy has. Currently, if you look at the state of the Indian economy, you've said that it's doing pretty well. But if I ask you this for a simple understanding of our viewers, if you have to point out two or three pain points for the Indian economy currently, and two or three things or aspects that are going right for the Indian economy. So if I have to put it simply, what's going right, a couple of points on that, and what's going wrong with the Indian economy currently. Okay. So what's going right? Uh, I mentioned earlier, India has a, a very strong macro framework. Uh, the f India's macroeconomic fundamentals are very strong. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, various aspects. There is a strong fiscal consolidation path that's happening, um, as helped by you know GST, which mm -hmm. is a very good reform. It is now producing you know healthy revenues for the government, which is, which, which combined with a discipline, fiscal discipline on the expenditure side, especially on the government consumption side, mm -hmm. uh, is helping achieve fiscal consolidation while still maintaining space for more public investment. This is very strong. Um, India has a very uh, strong reserves, you know, foreign exchange reserves. You know, we hear that or we know data tells us it's one of the uh, largest foreign exchange reserves in the world. Mm. This, this means that the global headwinds and the volatility that we see in the world that put pressure on the currencies, India can manage that a bit more easily than countries that do not have that kind of reserves and that kind of cushion. Mm. Um, Similarly, uh, India has a very, uh, uh, you know, the financial sector in India is improving. The strength of the financial sector now compared to a few years ago is like night and day. You know, the banks have improved their balance sheets. The corporate sector, by the way, has also improved its balance sheet. Non-performing assets have come down uh, now at, um, you know, 3.3%, uh, which is very healthy. Mm. And... Um, um, related to that, you see credit growth picking up. So, so there are a lot of positive on the macro financial sector side. It's, it's, it's very strong. I will say second thing that uh, is going really well mm. for the Indian economy is um, well, it's hard to limit the list to two, but but you can, but, you can but, take the liberty but, to but, go on. But but you know, public investment is very strong, yeah. and it's really very good, and it's needed. India has big ambition for you know, the national investment pipeline is, is impressive, it's huge. It's very ambitious. And, and the government is showing that through high public investment, you know, India can march toward achieving the goal of the national infrastructure pipeline. Of course, private investment will need to be crowded in at some mm -hmm. point and fairly quickly. A third thing I will add is the services sector. You know, mm -hmm. you know we, we all tend to say, and I will still maintain that, you know, countries need a strong manufacturing sector, strong industry to grow. But we also can do very well with the strong services sector, and India has been doing very well. The services sector is growing fast and is a top performer on the export side. Mm. And linked to that is India's success in uh, IT and technology and the DPI, the, 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 public, uh, the digital public infrastructure. That is supporting a dynamic and modern services sector uh, especially on the imp on the export side, the world knows India for very good services uh, export, uh, supported by by, by DPI. Um, maybe I will close by saying that um, digital public infrastructure is not just for export; it has, it has also helped improve services or service provision by the public sec public sector. It has helped reach many vulnerable people, especially during COVID providing them with uh, public support, public assistance, and it has also helped improve uh, financial inclusion, which is very important. Uh, so a lot of things are going, going on well. On, in the second part of your question, I wouldn't say that the things that are going wrong. I will simply say that there are things that could be improved. The issue is India's growth is not very, India's income per capita is not very high yet, as you mentioned earlier. You know, it is at a low middle income uh, category. You know, middle income is good, low middle income is good too, but India wants to become upper middle income country, which is fair mm -hmm. and actually normal, and India wants to become a high income country. But for that, as we said, growth needs to be higher than 6.3%, especially if India wants to achieve those goals by 2047. So what can be, what, what can be done better? What can help? Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I mentioned a few areas. So they're not going wrong, but the areas that could do better, yes. private investment uh, uh, on skill side, female labor force participation, I think for me it's the lowest hanging fruit. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's to, in fact, it's perhaps the area that hurts the most, growth in India.